All right, folks, so we're going to head going to go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is Bernard Jeter, and I am a broker sales advisor and uh, work with the, the life and annuity department. And what we're going to talk about today is uh, it's kind of a uh, make it a sense of urgency um, for Medicare agents or any agents that's uh, wishing to sell life and annuities. Uh, 2023. Um, has seen a huge surge in uh, annuity sales. And just want to make sure that uh, you all are capitalizing on uh, the surge. Uh, I know there are a, a lot of our uh, agents with IAD that is capitalizing, um, as well as uh, myself and uh, the clients that, uh, that I have. So, you know, one question is, well, who is Insurance Advisors Direct? Well, Insurance Advisors Direct is a full-service uh, field marketing organization, uh, FMO, IMO, uh, whatever you uh, choose to call it. And uh, in a nutshell, it is our job to help simplify your success. Uh, and we do that uh, through what we call our seven pillars of uh, success. And uh, in this slide, you'll see uh, our seven pillars is our, our sales tools, our marketing services, technology, product offering, uh, administrative services, training and education, and lead uh, generation. And uh, all this together is what helps simplifies your uh, success. And, you know, at the end of the day, uh, uh, all you agents are, are working really hard, especially Medicare agents during AEP. And one way that uh, Insurance Advisors Direct help uh, celebrate your successes, um, we do offer a uh, incentive trip. Now, last year it was in Puerto Vallarta, uh, it's in Mexico. This year it's going to be in uh, the Dominican Republic. Uh, or more information will come out on how to qualify. But I will tell you this: one of the best ways to help qualify for this trip is through selling uh, life and annuities. So, all right. So here, let's get on to our agenda. Like I said, we're going to talk about uh, Medicare agents uh, have that sense of urgency uh, selling uh, life insurance uh, and annuities. Uh, actually, you can do it before AEP. Uh, that way, you'll be able to to drum up some marketing dollars for AEP to even have an even uh, better year. So, on agenda, we're going to talk about the seven steps to retirement security. Uh, Bernard's holistic reports to uh, retirement, and this is my philosophy on retirement. And like I said, a lot of the uh, agents here they're using this, and and it's working well. Uh, Section seven seven zero two planning for retirement, uh, guaranteed income for uh for life, and why Medicare agents should sell this. Actually, any uh folks, and then that little uh, carrier corner. So like I said, we're going to try to make this uh, webinar short, sweet, to the point, uh, so guys can get on to your uh, busy day. And, you know, I say I'll be reaching out to everyone. But let me say this. I am not a tax professional or um, a financial advisor. These are a lot of the strategies that I use in, in my, my own uh, approach with my clients. All right, so seven steps to retirement. There's seven steps to, uh, to, to retirement. Uh, I believe that an informed client is a good client, a better client. So in, in my years of helping retirees and pre-retirees navigate the, the twists and turns of their retirement journey, experience has taught me that most retirees will face a few, if not all of the seven uh, roadblocks in uh, retirement. And uh, with this, folks, uh, we actually have... Um, uh, uh, resources or our seven roadblocks to retirement platform that will actually help with this. And, and, and we joined with a, a, another uh, a partnership that we have that offers the seven retirements of, of the seven roadblocks to retirement because it fits with uh, part of my philosophy as well. So, you know, looking at this, you know, we have a ton of resources that will help you uh, with your uh, client presentations. So what are the seven steps? One is longevity. Folks are living longer now. And since they're living longer now, we don't want uh, them 
We don't want folks, you don't want your clients to outlive their income. We want uh, income to outlive uh, your clients. Uh, second thing is inflation. I mean, you've seen how in inflation is. Uh, inflation will definitely uh, eat up uh, folks' retirement dollars. And, and when you look at retirement planning, you look at when folks are in retirement, the main thing is income. That is the the is the driver of a person's uh, retirement is income. And if you have it in certain plans, you know, inflation is just going to eat that up. And we need to have a way to, uh, I don't want to say offset inflation, but a way to to keep inflation steady or to keep, or to, like I can say, uh, to offset inflation. And annuities is, is a great way to, to do that. Then there's sequence of returns. A sequence of returns is, is simply uh, the return on your investments, uh, how it's uh, properly designed. And, and again, annuities is a great way for a uh, sequence of returns. Uh, then there's withdrawal rate in retirement. You need to know how much money you can withdraw to keep that money going so you don't run out of money. So in retirement, uh, withdrawal rate is uh, a given. Uh, then there's Social Security. Uh, Social Security, you know, folks may talk bad about annuities, but Social Security uh, is an annuity. Um, and then we want to try to to maximize a person's uh, Social Security. So instead of, you know, some folks may retire early, uh, get that 60, 70 percent um, of uh, money that you would normally receive if you retired at a uh, regular retirement age. And then in some cases, we want folks to uh, don't draw security, Social Security, until age 70 when you get that little uh, bump up. Then there's health care needs. Uh, and so you guys uh, know uh, Medicare, there are, uh, you don't want to call it fees, but there's out of pocket costs with health care. Uh, then, uh, and the biggest need is long-term care. So we have to think of all of that uh, when we're dealing with a person's retire, uh, retirement. Because one thing is with health care, uh, those out-of-pocket expenses can eat up a person's uh, retirement. So that's why it's important to uh, plan uh, health care wisely. And then there's taxes. With uh, folks today, and I'm... I mean, I'm nowhere near retirement, but I know I want to try to live the, ex well, not the exact same lifestyle, but I want to live as close to a lifestyle that I'm living now in my retirement years. So that's why it, it's important to uh, figure out what's uh, to, to, to offset those taxes. And one of those ways is actually with uh, cash value life insurance. And we'll talk about that, you know, on Roth IRAs uh, as well. So here's uh, my holistic approach. Um, my holistic approach, you know, agents with ID, they are having much success with this approach uh, with their Medicare clients. So I believe, and like I said, agents are falling suit with this, that a uh, person's retirement should be 30% in cash value life insurance. And that is that uh, tax-free uh, part. Then there's 30% in guaranteed life or income lifetime income. So with annuities, uh, you can put that money into an income annuity and it will be guaranteed for as long as that, that client lives. So let's just say a person puts in $500,000 into an annuity. And I mean, and this is just hypothetical. There's a lot of more nuances inside of that. But let's just say that guaranteed income uh, is person starts income, that income is $35,000 per year. I mean, you can set it up monthly, quarterly, and however you want to do it, uh, but let's just say it's $35,000 per year. This person will receive $35,000 from the time that he or she uh, starts uh, withdrawing that money, starts receiving that lifetime income till the day that this person dies. So if a person, uh, and I can say again, hypothetically, if a person lives to 121 years old, they're going to receive that $35,000 until they are uh, 121 years old. 
And then there's uh, the market, uh, your investments, 40% in that, because uh, you got to have something that will outpace uh, inflation. Uh, like I said, now the guaranteed income and the cash value life insurance will uh, keep uh, inflation at a normal, hypothetically. But the market, the market is always going to outperform that and always going to, I mean, of course, it's going to have its down years. Um, but yeah, uh, you need that market growth. So 40% in, in the market. So 30% cash value life insurance, 30% in guaranteed lifetime income with annuities, and then 40% in uh, the market. So uh, we talked about section 7702 planning. Uh, a 7702 plan is, is simply a life insurance policy used to save part of your income for uh, retirement. Uh, it is an section 7702 is an internal revenue code, just like section 401k or section 403b, just telling you that life insurance uh, cash value can be used for that. Uh, the money that you contribute is after tax. So meaning that uh, those IULs, the Section 702 plans can provide tax-free uh, income in retirement. And uh, the insurance company handles the management of your money based on your choices and the indices you choose, just like you would with a fixed index annuity and the distribution of income uh, to you during uh, your retirement years. So the next is guaranteed income for life. It's uh, an income annuity that converts your premium payments into a steady stream of income. Um, instead of providing a fixed rate of return, an income annuity provides a fixed monthly income that is guaranteed for life. So it's like in the, uh, we talked about that the person starts withdrawing money, let's say at age 67, and they live to 121, they're going to receive that same fixed monthly income uh, until he or she passes away. Then lifetime income annuities can provide a hedge against uh, outliving your savings. And that's why that guaranteed income for life. So uh, with these annuities, it is actually based on where the life insurance is based on more morbidity. Um, uh, these fixed index annuities is based on mortality uh, credits. So that's how they'll be able to keep that uh, money going on or guaranteed for the rest of their life. So Medicare agents, why Medicare agents? Uh, limited market, 10,000 people a day turning 65, uh, a great door opener, easy to meet potential clients. And then all of this is actually before AEP because you know you're only uh, you're restricted to what you can and and cannot do uh, during AEP. But uh, before AEP, it's a great door opener, easy to meet uh, potential clients, and you can uh, talk about uh, with your uh, own book of business. Just go back and talk to those uh, folks as well. Uh, recent retirees are folks preparing for retirement. Because um, yep, because you need to talk to them. Um, they want to know about their Medicare planning. Uh, time of life financial decision uh, making gold mine, or better yet, uh, knowing what to do uh, during, before, and during retirement. Uh, they're going to talk to someone about Medicare and other retirement issues. And it's my biggest thing it might as well uh, be you. As you're at that table, uh, discuss everything at that table, like I say, especially before uh, AEP. Uh, build wealth into your practice besides uh, renewal income. Um, life insurance and annuities is a great way. And we'll show that in another screen. Um, this will actually help you qualify for that uh, trip as well. And then there's lead generation, current and existing client. Great response rate. Uh, very inexpensive life and annuity uh, lead generation. All you have to do is, you know, pick up the phone. Hey, uh, Jane Doe, um, I know, you know, I, I've uh, written your, uh, enrolled in your Medicare Advantage plan, just calling to see how that's going. Oh, and by the way, these are the other services that I offer here. Let's set up a time uh, that we can uh, discuss this. So, all right. So why now? If only one and three of your Medicare clients want a conversation regarding their savings and investment options, imagine the 
uh, income opportunity. So here, the average annuity sale is approximately $70,000, with the commission rate ranging from uh, between 6.5% to 7%. So uh, let's say 70% uh, 70, 70 of uh, 70000 your commission would be 4000 uh, excuse me, $900 on that one annuity sale. Now, imagine the additional marketing dollars or dollars available for your practice. So like I said, uh, this before AEP, uh, you will have these marketing dollars to set up a huge uh, marketing plan, which you can actually uh, talk with our uh, marketing department to see how you can uh, ramp that up. And then like I said, there's a huge surge in income annuity sales, as well as Section 702 plans or IULs. Uh, and then uh, last we we've been talking about to qualify for a trip to the Dominican Republic in 2024. So, um, so this is how Bernard and, and the in, uh, Life and Annuity Department will uh, help you uh, with your life and, and, and annuity practice. Product uh, education and training, uh, carrier appointments, uh, top rated carriers, uh, case analysis, our, our sales tools and materials that we have uh, for you, uh, application creation and review, um, application review and submission, and then our whole uh, business processing support. So uh, I have that whole back office support for you. So whatever you need uh, to simplify that success with your life and annuity practice uh, before AEP, uh, I definitely have your back. Uh, I also have a team, uh, one of our uh, partners uh, that we partner with, like I said, for the uh, retirement roadblock and a few other things. Um, if I can't figure it out, I reach out to those guys and we just, we have like a conference call to, to say, well, this is the best option for uh, this client. All right, and then last, and this is our carry corner. Uh, so some of the carriers that we use for um, our income, guaranteed income for life and for our IULs, uh, Allianz, Excellent uh, carrier for IULs, one of the top rated uh, IUL uh, carriers in, in the country. Uh, American Equity, uh, top uh, income annuity. A theme, actually, it, it goes back and forth, number one to number two, but they are a uh, top um, income annuity as well. CoreBridge, which is uh, AIG, which is CoreBridge now, they have a, a, a very good IUL. Uh, and they also have very good uh, income uh, annuities. F and G, uh, one of my favorites besides a the theme, uh, F and G has a, a very solid uh, income uh, annuity as well as a very solid uh, uh, index universal life. Then it's North American, another great company, uh, two great income um, annuities. Uh, they also have uh, two great uh, index uh, universal life plans for this little section, section 702 plans. Uh, nationwide, nationwide uh, income uh, with their uh, new heights uh, annuity, uh, one of the top of the lines. Uh, also, they have uh, two great IUL products. Then there's uh, Prudential. Prudential also has uh, great IUL products. Um, but they also have a great uh, income annuities. And these are the, the, the core products that uh, I use, that uh, our agents are using for uh, IULs as well as uh, income annuities. Uh, so, you know, folks here, let's get this started today. Um, AEP is coming up fast. So we want to have that conversation with your agents. Um, I'll be calling each of you uh, to talk a, a strategy to uh, reach out to those clients as well as uh, get you appointed with uh, some of these uh, excellent uh, carriers. Uh, so folks, uh, that is it. Um, so let me say, if you have any questions, uh, put, you know, my name is Bernard, you know, my phone number 
4640 extension 112. And I love to you know, call me at any time, even have my cell phone number on there. Call me anytime if you want to pick my brain on uh, life and annuities or how to uh, get this started uh, before AEP. Because guys, I want you to, to qualify for uh, this trip. Now, I guess if you don't uh, qualify using the Medicare uh, products, you definitely can qualify with uh, the life and annuities. So folks, uh, thank you uh, for your time. And like I said, I'll be reaching out to you. Uh, this is recorded, so it'll be on our YouTube page uh, in a day or two. Uh, again, everybody have a blessed day and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care, bye.